Hi, my name is Chris McLean and I'm Avanade's Global Lead for Digital Ethics. And I'm here with a question, do you trust your AI co-pilot? So first of all, what does it even mean to trust? I think for me, the easiest way to think of trust is a stance that another party is a good steward of some power. That is, confidence that another party will wield or exercise some power with responsibility, or at least appropriately. So you can think of this in terms of another person, a government agency, a corporation, but it's a little bit different when it comes to technology. You know, we know that a lot of people are involved in designing and developing, implementing and operating technology. And we can't possibly know all of them and, and the decisions that they made along the way. So we think of trust in technology as kind of a proxy for all of those decisions and, and a hope or a, at least a confidence that uh, those decisions were made with some thoughtfulness and responsibility. So we can still think in terms of the power that we are giving to technology, uh, access to personal or sensitive data, maybe influence on our behavior, even in some cases, decision-making authority. And we can ask that question, is it appropriate? Do we have confidence in giving uh, technology that power? And when we look into that stance, like how do people generate that stance or to the stance that another party is trustworthy, a lot of the qualities and characteristics that we look, in, look into fall into four categories. The first being alignment of values. That is, if we care about things like justice, uh, fairness, maybe sustainability, uh, does this other party have that same, same set of values? Next, we look at expectations of performance. Do we believe that this system or this other party is going to perform with accuracy, um, quality, robustness, consistency, things like that. Next, we look for a mutual understanding. That is, do we understand how the system operates? Uh, is there enough transparency and explainability? But also, does this system understand what we want, what we're looking for in the interaction? And then finally, accountability. Is there a good level of oversight, monitoring, and ideally, if something goes wrong, some kind of recourse that we can look upon that we have access to? So is this happening with AI Copilot right now? We actually surveyed uh, 3,000 employees of corporations worldwide, and we asked them all kinds of questions about their interaction with different forms of AI. We found that actually less than half of them have confidence or trust in the outcomes or the outputs of their AI Copilot right now. We also found that only about 36% of CEOs had confidence in their leadership team that they understood generative AI technologies and their need for good governance. So there's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of work to really answer the question, do we trust our AI co-pilots? And if we want to, how? How do we improve the confidence, improve the trust so that people are um, willing to adopt and engage in these technologies where it's appropriate? So we are going to be covering all of these questions and more in our upcoming Digital IQ series. Uh, you can register at the link below, and we would love to see you there. Thank you.